हेलो चिल्ड्रेन आई एम शशि कला फैसिलिटेटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट एट एम एल कला डी ए वी पब्लिक स्कूल सेक्टर सिक्स द्वारका न्यू डेली सेवेंटी फाइव इन क्लास थ्री साइंस यू मस्ट हैव लर्न अबाउट द सेंस ऑर्गेन्स इन द चैप्टर माई बॉडी इन दिस क्लास क्लास फोर यू विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इन द चैप्टर माई बॉडी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट वॉट इज डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल अबाउट वन पार्ट ऑफ द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम दैट इज द टीथ वी ऑल नो दैट अ बॉडी हैज डिफरेंट पार्ट्स and they are called as organs also some of the organs which are outside the body and can be seen by us are called external organs for example your eyes hands nose back head etc and some body parts cannot be seen by us because they are inside a body they are called internal organs for example stomach heart brain etc now we just discussed that in chapter 1 of class 4 we are going to learn about the digestive system what does the word digestion mean it means breaking down of complex materials like carbohydrate fat protein etc in the food and providing it in a simple form for the body to absorb and utilize for its various functions we all eat food to grow stay healthy and to do different functions so that is what our digestive system helps us it helps us to provide the nutrients in the food to the body first it breaks down the food then it helps the broken down nutrients to get into the blood it also removes the unwanted undigested material now what is the digestive system made of it is made of many organs one or two organs can be seen from outside that is the mouth teeth and tongue and some organs are inside the body and cannot be seen so the mouth which has teeth and tongue help in chewing and swallowing the food whereas the organs like food pipe stomach intestine along with liver pancreas they carry out the breaking down and absorption of food now i told you in this video we are going to focus on the teeth what are the types and what is the function the main purpose of teeth is to bite and chew the food it also gives shape to our face have you seen the face of a small baby or an old person it does not look the same as yours isn't it also have you noticed the way they speak so without teeth our speech is also not clear when the baby is born it has no teeth and when the baby is about 6 to 8 months of age the teeth begin to appear and these teeth are called the temporary teeth they are also called milk teeth they are formed in the baby when it is about 6 months of age and keep coming out till the baby is 3 years of age and the milk teeth are 20 in number these milk teeth start falling from 6 years of age and all the milk teeth fall by 12 years of age and in their place permanent teeth start coming out now what are permanent teeth these are the teeth which develop from the time the child is 6 years of age up to 12 years and they are 32 in number 
they cannot be replaced if they fall or get damaged. Now, do all the teeth look alike? No, they are of different shapes and sizes too. The teeth in front of our mouth are flat in shape. They are called incisors. They help to slice or bite or break the food. Whereas the teeth on either side of the flat teeth, they are called canines. They are pointy like a knife. They help to tear food items like meat. You must have seen the teeth in cats and dogs. And in TV, you must have seen tiger and lion. They have sharp teeth at the corners of the mouth to tear the flesh of the prey, isn't it? Yes. And there are another different kind of teeth behind the canines. They are broad. They have grooves on them. They are called the premolars and molars. And these two kind of teeth help in crushing and grinding the food. Remember, when you take a biscuit, you bite it with your front teeth. When you have to eat a piece of chicken, you tear it with your canine. But when you are eating some hard food items like nuts, you crush them with your back teeth, that is the premolars and molars. Now here you can see the different shape of the teeth. The canine have pointy edge. The premolars and molars are broad and the incisors in the front are flat. Now, let us see how different types of teeth help in breaking down different types of food items. So, let us see how the incisors, canines and the premolars and molars are doing the function. Now, when we take a piece of chapati, bread or biscuit, the teeth in front, which are the incisors, they help to cut or break the food into small pieces like this. Suppose it's a piece of flesh or some other type of food which can't be broken by the incisor, then your sharp canines come into play. They help to tear the food into small pieces. And when you eat food items which are hard, like an almond, so the teeth which help you to break down these food items are the premolars and the molars, which act like the motor and pencil here. So you can see that just like the way the molar, just like the way the motor is grinding the almond into small pieces, crushing it and grinding, the same way the premolars and molars help to crush and grind the food. Now that we have seen how important the teeth are in breaking down the food into smaller pieces so that they can get digested easily by the stomach, intestines and go into the bloodstream and give us strength and good health. Now we have to take care of these teeth so that we remain healthy. What are the different points to remember? First, remember you have to brush your teeth twice a day. Because the food particles which are sticking to your teeth will help the growth of bacteria and these bacteria damage the teeth. And what are the favorite items of bacteria do you know? Sweets. Yes, the more sweets you eat, the more bacteria will grow on your teeth. So avoid sweets and sugary snacks. Because the acid produced by the bacteria Damage the enamel, which is the shiny outer covering of your teeth. Also, you know that the teeth are located in the fleshy gums, which help to hold the teeth. So, we have to eat food items which give exercise to these gums, so they remain strong and intact. And what are the food items? Can you guess? Yes, when you bite an apple. You have to make lot of effort to chew it. Similarly, nuts, guava, carrots, radish, all these food items help to exercise your gums. And last but not the least, remember, 
teeth is made of calcium and phosphorus just like our bones and what gives us calcium yes your mother keeps reminding you to drink it in the morning evening at night can you guess you're right it's milk milk and milk products help to provide calcium for our body and these keep our teeth and bones strong let us make a model to see how the teeth are arranged inside the mouth okay now let's do an activity to see how the teeth are placed in our gums for this you need a very few substances like the play dough which children used to make different shapes and since i did not have the play dough i used the wheat flour dough to make the gums so i have added a bit of beetroot juice to give it the reddish shape reddish color and this you have to roll it into a cylindrical shape and then place it on a piece of cardboard like this and one i have already made which you can see now when you see here you can see 1 2 3 4 flat teeth are here these are the incisors which are in front of the gums and then you have two sharp pointy teeth which are the canines which i told you help to tear the food then you have the broad teeth which are the premolars and the molars and here you can see some of the teeth that is the peanuts which have been used as teeth are discolored so if you don't brush your teeth regularly this is what will your what will happen to your teeth so how to make this model just take a few peanuts and you have to see the shape take the flat ones and place them in front just like the incisors and you have to keep four flat teeth because you know there are four incisors in the bottom that is the bottom jaw and four on the upper jaw and then you need some sharp edged peanuts like this to show the canines which you have to place it on the sides just select the sharp ones and place them on the side then you can take the broad peanuts and place them like molars on either side now your denture model is ready